lot of thinking that goes into it. You know, Spencer, Spencer couldn't go the rest of the way. Um, just, you know, try to go in and do my job as best as I can. Just, you know, throw my helmet on, get in there as a little bit of nerves, but once you start playing, it's just, just as I know it, I've done it before. So not, uh, not too different than, than before. I saw that he was behind the defense. Um, I saw that defensive back was kind of dropping underneath him. So I tried to just give him a chance as best as I could. Um, you know, those long, Third, third, fourth down situations. You know, you just want to give your guy a chance uh, in those situations where we, you know, need a lot of yards, uh, don't have a lot of time. So I just wanted to give give him a chance to make a play, and I thought he made a great play. Uh, I'm not really sure if he was down or in bounds or not, but you know, credit to him, he made a fantastic play on it. So you know, we, we've told our uh, team all along that uh, we win as a team or we lose as a team, and tonight was no different. Uh, just a really tough loss for everybody involved. And the uh, bottom line is we just didn't do the things you have to do to be successful and credit our opponent, they, they did. And, uh, you know, so it's uh, to their credit. I uh, can't say how proud I am uh, of our guys. You know, they've uh, been consistent all the way through the season, given great, great effort and, uh, you know, never gave up tonight. They fought uh, really hard, especially in that second half. Um, you know, so proud of that. But you know, I think the reality is, you know, we just uh, made the hill a little bit too high to climb, and, and part of that was self-inflicted, and that, that's always tough. So um, anytime you know you struggle with penalties, you struggle with uh, the turnovers, and uh, give up a big play, that just, you know, those are things that we really try to take pride in doing well, and we, we didn't do that tonight. So that is, uh, that is certainly disappointing. So, you know, right now uh, we'll regroup, uh, we'll have a little bit more time off this weekend than we wanted, regroup, and. Uh, some point we'll get together next week here and uh, just you know get ready to, to focus on this next game and see if we can't uh, come up with a victory here for the last time. I uh, can't say enough again about our seniors. Uh, all of our upperclassmen have done a really good job of being leaders, but our seniors, it all starts with them. And for those 27 guys to um, you know have a chance to walk today out there to, in, on midfield and Kenny to meet their families, and then it's tough in the locker room. Uh, you know, the season's not over, but it's the last time in this locker room, last time in the stadium. And I say it every year, I, mean, I don't think anybody that plays football doesn't remember the last game as a high school player, and certainly their last game in college, um, especially at home. So, yeah, anyway, they're just a tremendous group. Really proud of them and proud of the way they've uh, led our football team. And um, been proud of all our guys. You know, they never quit, they just keep fighting. So, you said today's really disappointing. Uh, we'll, we'll get over that, and uh, at some point we'll turn our, our vision to the next next opportunity Tough situation. And both both those guys, Jameson and uh, TJ, have been doing a great job on special teams, which is kind of you know it's usually the entree for uh, guys. Uh, Cooper last year, not at this time, but midseason was doing a good job on special teams, and then started to get some playing time. And um, you know, so yeah, the, both those guys probably got the <coughs> fire a little bit before. Uh, they needed to be, and but I'll flip around. You know, James Jameson, Jameson made a heck of a stop on that one, uh, you know, third down play right in front of us. So had we been able to score, might have looked back and said, "Boy, that was a play of the game." So, you know, gave great effort as did TJ, but it just, you know, good matchup for them, bad for us. Uh, you just start with, uh, it was just we just cut out our focus on this. It's just another game. Uh, it was the Heroes Trophy game, and that's a huge game for us. Um, and hats off to them; they came ready to play. Um, but I mean, yeah, I, when you walk off that field the last time, everything that, everything that this program has done for me and the guys in that locker room, it, it means a lot and it hurts a little bit and it's gonna. But um, I'm, no one's gonna hang their head again. We're just gonna keep going, keep going. We got one more as a group uh, together. Um, so, I mean, there's really not, not much more to it. Um, I'm, I'm always proud to be an Iowa Hawkeye, and I always will. Um, but we we got outplayed today, um, so hats off to them. And I'm just thankful for all the people I've met along the way. So seeing those four people who have done so much for me, um, it means the world to me. My, my mom, my stepdad, my stepmom, especially my dad. I feel like my, my, my dad, my grandma, she couldn't make it the game. But they've just always been so supportive of me and seen things in me that sometimes I don't even see myself, see things in myself. So running out there and getting to share that moment with them, that meant the world to me. Um, 
And I'm, I'm just truly blessed to be raised by four people who love me incredibly much. So. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, those are the things that I'm gonna remember the most is just the guys that I came in with and I think you guys like Dallas Craddock and and uh, Matt Fagan and just guys that just continue to fight and oh um, man, I mean, just, that's what I'm gonna miss the most, like just getting up with each other, going to lift and getting some refill sandwiches and sitting down at the table before meetings and I don't know, that's just, you know, win, lose, or draw. I just, I'm gonna miss those those moments the most. Uh, I'm just grateful that we have another chance to go go play and um, a couple more months with these guys. But I think that's what I'm gonna miss most, just hanging out with the guys and guys that, you know, finished the race, Coach Coach Ferris will say, um, stayed here five years and um, we gave it our all and, and we'd do it again. And, you know, it just, it just means a lot to us being able to play here and, um, but yeah, I just just gonna miss those moments and and hang out with those yeah, guys. So on uh, defense, I'll speak for defense. That's what I play. But I feel like uh, explosive plays. You know, they hit us big. Uh, I don't know, maybe like seventy five yards or more. And they had another one. So I mean, just you know, staying what Coach Parker likes to say, alignment keys responsibility. I feel like we weren't there on all three phases. So that's how they got those uh, two big plays and turned them into touchdowns. So. I mean, definitely I feel like we always talk about next man in mentality, but, you know, seeing one of our guys up down on the field like that, it's definitely, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure how to say it, but, I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like it pushed us harder to, you know, fight for him and want to, you know, get have his back. But, uh, yeah, I, I feel like we needed to create, like, a spark play, and I feel like we ended up doing that, and we brought the game back within seven, so, I mean... I felt like we fought, like the, our effort and our intensity and all that was definitely there. <clears throat> Just needed to start it, start it a little earlier than we did. When Mike actually we was trying to pass the ball and get it downfield fast, but really, no, nah, I, I didn't get in, but it don't matter about me, it matters about the team. So whatever we need to do to win, yeah, we do it, so. But then at the end of the day, we gotta move forward because we got another game to play and keep our head up and just stay as a team. So Coach Ferentz always tells us we never give up, and uh, I felt like throughout the game we never did. Um, we always held our composure, and uh, we always were saying next play, next play. Um, so you know, at the end of the game, um, once we had the opportunity to go out there, we gave our best shot, and um, you know we fell short. But I thought Alex handled it very well. Um, you know, it's, uh, Spence going down was tough for us, but um, Alex stepped up and uh, you know kept 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 it, held his composure and. Um, really took uh, took command of the huddle and uh, gave us the best opportunity to keep going.